everyone welcome back to my channel it's time to it's time to kick it up a notch with a brand new video i am sick today you could probably hear it in my voice so i'm not feeling so great um uh, like at all i don't know what happened but my kids gave me something and i think my husband gave it to them first and then they gave it to me so just went right down right down the line but today we have a really exciting video and i really wanted to get this video out to you guys and that is reviewing and talking about my Speedy 30 Louis Vuitton Speedy B, so it's the bandolier version. And I've had mine for several years, so I just wanted to talk to you guys about, is it still worth it to buy it in 2023? So let's get into it. I'm wearing my Gucci Good Game t-shirt. My throat is like all over the place. <laughs> just like generic leggings and super fuzzy socks. So I'm very comfy today. This is a great oversized t-shirt. I love all my Gucci t-shirts such a great investment for me for my life they just suit me so well and i'm just i'm just gonna keep buying gucci t-shirts and if you like my content please consider subscribing give me a thumbs up it really helps me with the algorithm and it's completely free so i really appreciate it now let's start talking about this beautiful bag let's just start with the appearance of the bag so I will say that there has been quite a lot of wear and tear on the hardware of this bag. So if you can see this, there's a lot of chipping. This isn't just like it changing color. This is actual, there's like actual chipping on this bag, on the hardware. And it is unfortunate, but I hear it is very common, um, especially with some of the newer bags this is from 2019 i've heard that it is quite common but i'm just going to show you both sides so you can see so this side isn't as bad as the other side you can see that because i've had my lock on this side it has gotten worse but it also has happened on these rings so it's not just it's not just on the bandolier rings. You can see it right there. And I've seen worse, but I have used this bag a lot. I probably used this bag over 100, 200 times. I wore it for like on repeat for a long time. It has the strap right here. Let's just look at the strap. So we've got chipping right here. And it's not so bad. I mean, it could be a lot worse. I haven't retired this bag, but I have stopped using it on repeat. You can see there's some chipping there, but no problems with the glazing. I have had some bags from Louis Vuitton that I had to return that had major glazing issues. The glazing on the strap is perfect. I just wanna say that this strap is everything. I've put it on different bags. It's just like everything. Here it is with the strap on it. This bag matches with everything. I'm gonna go into that in a second, but it has great capacity, which I will also go into in a second, and it matches with everything. It even matches with what I'm wearing today. I could wear it with what I have on right now, and I feel like it would match perfectly. I love this as a top handle. And I love it as a crossbody. I really, I think the versatility of this bag is really the biggest selling point and the fact that it's all weather. Here's the inside. My kids are in the background, so if you hear them, that's what's going on. It's got a pocket, which is perfect for my phone. And I've used this for travel. I've used this for a lot of things. I'm just going to show you the appearance right now. There are no feet on the bottom. And I love this print. This print is so beautiful. Now let's talk about what this costs versus what I paid. So this is currently at $18.90 before tax. In 2019, this was $14.30 to $14.90. So you can see that's a very large difference, 1430, 1490 to 1890. And that's before tax for both prices. So you have to consider that this has had some serious price increases. 
Because of that, is this still worth buying as kind of like an investment bag with it being so much higher now? And I went on Fashion File, I went on the resale, like the pre-love market, and they're very low. I'm talking about like 800, 1100. I think the highest I saw was like 1500 for this bag on Fashion File. I'll put some photos up here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And I'm just gonna show you guys, like there's no wear and tear here. It's been incredible. I know I'm like getting off track. There's a little bit of scuffing right here, but I've used it so many times, I really don't, that doesn't even bother me. It is five years old and due to the amount of wear that I have, amount of times I've worn this, I feel like that type of wear and tear is perfectly normal. So is this worth buying in 2023? I mean, I think that if you're looking for an investment bag, I would say no in terms of money, like it, will it go up in value? I would say no, but if you're looking for a forever bag, something that's gonna stay in your collection, something that you are going to use as an investment in your life, sorry, it's really hard to talk right now. If you're gonna use it for your life, like a life investment, I think that this is the perfect bag to have in your closet. So yes, I think it is worth buying in 2023 in terms of if you want it in your closet. Which leads to the next question, should you buy this pre-loved? Um, I think if you get it for a really good deal, and I think if you can find one that is very, very good quality, good condition, I think that yes, you could get this pre-loved and it would be fine. However, these are so easily duped, so easily faked that I think that it would be something that you should really think about for a while bef before you took the plunge to buy one pre-loved. Because these are like one of the most easily replicated bags on the market. Now let's talk about quality decline. I have my list here. So we are going to talk about the difference in canvas. I don't have anything to compare this to. I apologize, but I've heard that the canvas now is much more flexible, much more like pliable. It doesn't crack as easily. I've heard that in the past there was a lot of cracking going on with a lot of their canvas. So they changed the formula. They changed not the formula, but you know what I'm saying? They changed it up and they made it, I guess, more structurally sound. I do have a vintage um, keep all, almost a never full. So you can see it, oh my gosh, it is so dirty. Hold on a second. All right, that was slightly embarrassing. So you can see that the quality on this is very good. And I believe this is from the 80s. So I got this on the real reel and it's, really beautiful. I wanted a vintage piece because I wanted something that looked very, very vintage. You know, I wanted something that looked old. And I would say that the canvas, it is a little bit more stiff. So let's just compare these two. So this is a little bit more, yeah, this is more pliable and this is more stiff. I've never really compared these before. This is like squishy and this is a little bit more stiff, but it's not a huge difference. Okay, now let's talk about the glazing. I had um, melting glazing. If you know, anybody knows what that is, it's where the glazing starts to look like it's melting off of the bag and it was brand new. I literally bought it just a couple days ago and well, I had had it for two days prior. I had bought it a couple of days prior. Sorry, I cannot think right now. This, this cold is like terrible. And the, right here, I had the glazing melting off. It was literally just gummy and just starting to come off. It was so gross. So obviously I took that back and it was a 25. It was brand new in 2020. And I think that their quality issues have gotten better. Like they've improved since then. Their quality is now better since 2020, but I was so happy that this is before 2020 because I just feel like it's much better quality. And that being said, I have never had an issue with glazing since then. So maybe it was just a defective bag, I don't really know, but I have not had any issues with glazing since that one bag. We've already discussed the chipping on the hardware. So that is something, if you really don't like chipping on hardware, that's something that you probably should consider. However, I did take this into Louis Vuitton and they told me that they could take my bag in and they could recoat all of this metal. So I think that they would repair it. They told me they would, and I am considering doing that. 
And the final thing we're going to talk about is what fits in this bag. So I have my never full on front here and I'm gonna show you that this bag holds almost as much as this bag. So I'm gonna put everything from this bag into this bag. I'm just gonna get everything out of this bag. I changed the angle so you guys can really see what's going on. Okay, this bag is now empty and I'm going to put all of these things into this bag. This is shocking. All of these things fit so nicely into this bag and there's still more room. So you can see that there's plenty of room to put in something else like a sweater or an extra t-shirt. You could even put a water bottle in here. I used to put a water bottle in here all the time. And then I put my phone right here. So this is a lot of room. So everything from this bag fit perfectly into this bag with room to spare. In conclusion, I think this bag is completely worth it to buy in 2023. This is an all weather bag. I wear it in the rain, I wear it in the snow, I wear it in the heat, and I don't have to worry about it. It matches with everything. It is a very fun, practical, easy, carefree grab and go bag, and it fits everything. Not the kitchen sink, but it does fit pretty much all of your essentials. Okay, everyone, thank you so much for watching my video and bearing with me in my time of illness. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you give me a thumbs up if you like content like this and subscribe. And I will bring more content like this to you very soon. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.